Have you been drinking? What? No, of course not. I smell a strong scent of alcohol coming from your car. My dad is also a police officer. He's probably your boss, you know, Captain Porter. Captain Porter is your father? Maybe, you know, you can just get in your little car and let me go and we can forget this whole thing. Hey, Pumpkin, what you doing? This police officer pulled me over. Please hurry. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the car, please. Good morning. License and registration, please. Uh, yeah, okay. There you go. <laughs> oh. So, you know oops. Stop, do you know why I stopped you? Uh, I mean, is, is it my brake lights? I mean, I, I had it fixed the other day, so they should be working fine. Well, your brake lights are fine, but you crossed over two lanes back there without using your signal, and then you made an illegal left turn at the traffic light back there. Really? Are you sure? Yes, miss, I'm sure. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm really tired. I'm just in a hurry to get home. Have you been drinking? What? No, of course not. I smell a strong scent of alcohol coming from your car. Um, you sure you want to stick to that story? Okay, um, look, my, my friend, she borrowed my car last night, and, you know, they, they were out partying, like, all night, you know? They were the ones out drink, drinking, so that's probably why you smell what whatever you think you smell. And it's not even, it's not alcohol. Like, I'm not drinking. Well, um, if you haven't been drinking, would you mind getting out of the car and taking the field sobriety test? Okay, I didn't want to do this, but uh, Mr. Policeman, my dad is also a police officer. Okay, so maybe we can just forget this whole thing. You said your father is a police officer here in Mango Park? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, he's probably your boss, you know, Captain Porter. Captain Porter is your father? Uh, yeah, so maybe, you know, you can just get in your little car and let me go and we can forget this whole thing. I'm afraid I can't do that, ma'am. Yes, you can. Just let me go, okay? I, I won't say anything, I promise. Ma'am, stay in your car. I'll be right back. Hey, Pumpkin, what you doing? Daddy, I'm in trouble. Okay, well, what's, what's going on? Well, 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 where are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but this police officer pulled me over. I, I don't even know why. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, well, just, just remain calm. Uh, do everything that the officer tells you, and when I get a chance, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you over there, okay? Okay. Remember, be very respectful. If you didn't do anything, you got nothing to worry about, okay? Okay. I'll tell you what, text me, uh, just text me your location and, and I'll meet you there right now. Okay, Daddy, just please hurry. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Dispatch, this is Sergeant Garrett here. Come back, please. I'm requesting backup at the Orange Avenue entrance at Mango Park. 
I think I have a possible 502 in progress. 10 4 Sergeant. Backup is already on the way. All right, thank you. There you go, man. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the car, please. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. Now I'm gonna ask you to put your right hand over your nose. expect to see you here. Hello, Captain. Man, you know, when my daughter called me, I didn't expect you to be the officer involved. I wish I had better news, Captain. Hmm. All right. Tell me. What happened? I pulled her over because she was swerving all over the road and switching lanes without using a signal. Then she made an illegal left turn. When I pulled her over, I was questioning her, and I smelled alcohol coming from her breath. Alcohol? Really? She denies that she was drinking. Did you do the field sobriety test on her? I did. It wasn't pretty. All right. Let's get to the bottom of this. Daddy! Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Well, tell me everything. What happened? Like it was just a simple misunderstanding. I'm just trying to go home. Okay, well, well, Sar Sergeant Garrett here says that uh, he stopped you because he saw you swerving all over the road and that you made an illegal turn. I, I'm just really tired, okay? I, I must have not seen the signs. Okay, well, why, why, why are you tired? Were you out all night? No, no, I, I crashed at my friend's house and I just, I just didn't get much, uh, much sleep. Oh, okay, I see. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I don't even mean to bring you into all of this. Like I'm I'm really not trying to get um, him in trouble or anything. Mm, oh, you're you're concerned about him. See, see the thing is, he's not getting in trouble. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for you. What are you what are you talking about? You've been drinking. No, no, I haven't. <sighs> Kentra, I can smell the alcohol. Look. Dad, my, my friend borrowed my car last night, and that's probably why you smell whatever you think you're smelling. I smell the alcohol coming from you. You've been out partying. I'm snot drunk, okay? What? You, you're you snot drunk? No, I'm, I'm fine, okay? I'm not drunk. I'm N-O-T. <sighs> Kentra, look at me. You've got one more chance to tell me the truth. Okay, fine. I was... I was out partying, but like I'm totally fine now, okay? We went out for breakfast and, you know, uh, pancake soaks up the alcohol. What? what? That, that's not how that works. You, you, you're telling me that, that you are out here driving, swerving all over the road, making illegal turns, and, and, and you're fine now, yes, right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine, Dad. Kentra, you are a grown Woman, you of all people should know better than this. God, I really don't need a lecture right now. No, no, you're going to get a lecture. You are going to get a lecture. You, you could have called a friend. You could have called Uber. You could have called Lyft. You could have called me. I would have came and gotten you. There is no excuse to be out here driving drunk. I'm not drunk. God, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, why are you going to treat me like such a little kid? Oh, I'm treating you like a little kid right now. So I need to be treating you like a grown woman now, right? Right? Okay, I got you. Sergeant Garrett. Yes, Captain. Earlier, you told me that you uh, did a field sobriety exam, correct? Yes, Captain, that's now, correct. Tell me, what were the results of those tests? She failed, sir. In my opinion, she was clearly intoxicated and driving under the influence. I agree. Oh. What's going on? What's, what's happening? What's going on? 
you're under arrest for driving under the influence. Sergeant Garrett, please take this young lady into custody. Dad, are you, you're not serious. Are you serious? Dad. You have the right to remain silent yeah. and anything you say can Dad, be held why against you. Dad, are you doing you. this to me? You have the right to an attorney and if you cannot afford Dad. one, one will be appointed to you. Look at here. You can't be out here driving drunk and then calling me and expecting you to get out of this. Today, you're gonna learn your lesson. Sergeant Garrett, take her to the station. I'll meet you there. No problem, sir. See you at the station. Dad. <laughs> oh, be careful. 